When the Bentley Bentayga was introduced, its makers called it the fastest, most powerful, most luxurious and most exclusive SUV in the world. They missed one test, the harshest one of all. This is my mother Terry. You may remember her from such videos as the Lamborghini Urus. We're it's you know, Richard. Yes. We're of Irish descent. Yes. So we're a bit like indigenous people. <laughs> Did you say Lamborghini? Yeah. No, it's Lamborghini. Oh Lamborghini. Oh. You stand now. But that's not in a good way. <laughs> now she's back. Hello. Hello. What a beast have you bought today? What do you think? <laughs> it's a Bentley. It is. Oh my God. You got a first go this time. Well, it's got the big B on it. <laughs> yeah, that handle, That's a giveaway, that's right? It. And it doesn't have a flying lady on the front. No, so, so it's not a roller. So it's not a roller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a mm. but Bentley. But for Bentley. Oh. It's a Bentayga V8. Yeah, it's Bentley's first SUV. They're all in it, aren't they? What, the, all the car companies are making? SUVs. Yeah. They're all in it, right? They are. What do you think of the look of it? Oh, uh, it's a bit like all Bentleys, boxy. It's a bit like all Bentleys. Actually, you're exactly right. It's <laughs> like they've put a Bentley car they're, they're always, on monster truck wheels, isn't they're, it? They're, uh, Bentley's always boxy. <laughs> do you know <laughs> what I mean? I never lust what after. About, a what Bentley. about its face? Like, oh. uh, to me, it looks like it's missing its jaw. Like, it's got this goofy, goofy sort of overbite where it's doing this. Like, it's like... Well, this is, it's, they're never attractive. <laughs> it's big. They're always big, They're though. always very big. And it's sort of like, like a Maserati, you know? Like, a Maserati? Yeah, you know, a Maserati. You see yeah. them and you think, nah. It's 2.2 metres wide with the wing mirrors out. Whoa. Okay. They're folded up at the moment, so it's a little bit thinner. It's 5.1 metres long. It's very long. big. They're always boxy. 1.7 metres tall. How much do you reckon it is? Uh, just, just throw a number at me. 500,000? You You're very close. Total, total cost, all the on-roads and the options, 454,918. Yeah, 500,000. Yeah. It's got close to a hundred grand's worth of options. Now, let me take you around here. Check this out. Are you ready for this? Yes. Tow bar. Already comes with it. No, it's an optional extra. Right. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's optional. Yeah. I'm not sure like what you're going to be towing. Well, you know, it's a horse trailer. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm thinking caravan park, no. but you wouldn't be going to. <laughs> No. I've got something to show you, right? Okay, so this, yes. the tow bar and the, you know, the, the um, electronic brake controller. Yeah. $6,989. For the tow bar, but it's got the brake controller. That's really important when you're trailing. Yeah, it's true, but check this out. <laughs> look what's on there. It's Audi. Yeah. yeah. Have a look even closer. What does that say there? It says Audi. Audi what? O seven. No Q seven. Q seven. Oh. Yeah. Q seven. Yeah. Yeah. Brackets forty eight. And check out this as well. So open the boot. All right. Check this out. Audi. Yeah. Do they own Audi? Yeah. Well, or Volkswagen Audi own oh, Audi, oh, and, and they and own Bentley. Bentley. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So they're multitasking. That's right? it. It's the parent Multi company. Yeah. Okay. But how would you? How would you feel? Yeah. I'd be really pissed off. I'd take would a bag and say, oh, God, yes. Because how much would, wouldn't it cost much yeah, to I have know, a Bentley? I know, Look, You can't do that. The number plate. See the one W-O? Yeah. That's like one of the most coveted Bentley number plates ever. Why? Well, Who's Walter, W-O? Walter, W-O, W-O, Walter Owen Bentley, right, started the company, founded the company with yeah. his brother. And everyone used to call him W-O. Hey, W-O. Yeah, right? uh, GB, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my father, yeah. by the way. Um, <laughs> like TV, AWO. Anyway, so that's why these number plates are so coveted. Yeah. But Walter Owen never had WO. He had like LT and just regular yeah. number plates. CK, I think. Yeah, no WOs. So he wasn't a wanker? No. No, oh, okay. 
Um, do you want to go for a drive? Sure. All right. Now, I don't know whether to put you in the back or the front. Like in the boot, you mean? No. <laughs> I mean in the front seat. No, I have to sit in the front. You've got to sit in the front. That's, not your, that's your, not your style. Well, you have to understand oh, that... Before you do, check yes. this out. What am I doing? Yes. So just stand in front of the car. So you're not going to okay. tell me that what? there's a number on the engine that I ring a man in um, Germany. No. <laughs> there's no little man waiting in crew in England waiting for your phone call. Well, uh, no, we're still pretending I mean, that the Bentley. Are we still pretending that the Bentley is an English car? Okay. Are we still pretending that the Bentley is an English car? Yeah. What? When, well, <laughs> if it's made by VW, yeah, it's not an English car. What is it? It's German. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Look, I'll okay. um, just stay. Just just watch the front. Okay. Right. Okay. Watch the front. <laughs> what do you think of that? Do you like how they come out on, on sticks, on stalks? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous? It's ridiculous. Alright, let's go for a drive. Okay. Oh, I like the interior. Do you? Yes, I do. It's nicer than the outside. <laughs> so Bentley have what's called main hide and secondary hide. Right. So main hide is the red. And yeah. that's called hot spur. Yeah. Right? And that's like the main components, like the, the seat bases and the, ins and the inserts. Um, and then the black leather, and it's everywhere, so around yeah. here, around here, look, even on the roof. Feel that. Do you know what you're touching? Yeah. It's beluga. Beluga? What's beluga? You know, the whale. Are you kidding me? No. I'm out of this car. No, 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 no. But see, the thing is, the thing is, the, with the beluga whale, um, the, the most coveted part of the whale is the area around the blowhole. So they've got, they basically cut that bit out, so you need a lot of beluga whales. And they get rid of the rest of the whale and they just use that, because it's the softest. Feel how that's around. That's probably Huh? That's terrible. Feel it though. Look, what? touch that. That's, you're touching, you're putting your finger in the blowhole there. Kate will never have one of those. No way. It's not, it's not really beluga, Mum. It's the colour. Right. It's black. You nearly had a heart attack. It's but black. No, they're killing whales. It's not... <laughs> See how wide I am? Yes. It's very wide. And the visibility, like I cannot see how the bonnet steps yep. down. Yep. So you've got that bit, like looks like a, the, the bow of a, a boat, which sort of goes out. But then it steps off down the sides. So you're okay. actually eight inches wider on both sides than you can see. And no matter how high my seat goes up, I can't see the edges of the car properly, you, and you, it freaks me out. You know, I, I, this steering wheel. Yeah. I was in an Audi, Audi A3, like a, one of the base spec, you know, models that you can get. Yeah. Um, and had the same steering wheel. Is that pretty, didn't have all this red and didn't have the Bentley wings? Yeah. But these buttons were identical. This is straight out of an Audi A3, not even a fancy Audi. I've never liked the shape of them. Yep. Um, and that's, to be very honest. Why? Right? Because they're not streamlined, they're boxy. Yeah, but you love boxes. No, I don't. <laughs> You've worked in a warehouse. Doesn't mean you like them. No. Um, they're useful, but <laughs> it's not um, an attractive car, I don't think, Bentley. You are, have you... <laughs> <laughs> Look. Are you in a bad mood today? No, I just... You are in a bad mood. I am mood. not. I'm not a sister to be... What's if, happened? Oh, you've upset me. It means you're bad. <laughs> what? You know I don't like bounties. Oh, why? You've oh. never driven one. I don't like them. I don't like the look of them. I don't know anything about them. What do you mean? They're great. They're not as good as Beamers, you know. One of my favourite comments after we did the Eurus video yes. was... I called you up, and um, and the first thing you said to me was, "Did we sell many?" Yes. <laughs> we're not selling cars. Of course we we're are. We're reviewing. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I don't care whether people buy this or not. Well, it's you're not sell we're not selling. We're not selling them. Do you know what I do, don't you? Yeah, I know. You're a motoring journalist. I'm yeah, but I'm not do. selling. I'm not a car dealer. No. I don't sell cars. No, no. But the point well, why was... Why did you ask how many well, have we sold? Well, I didn't say you'd sold. I want to know if I got commission if I sold. 
No. No, you don't. I was disappointed. That would be highly, like, <laughs> unethical in terms of our integrity is, you know. Your integrity, not mine. Oh, I'm not worried about out. your You are for sale, <laughs> yeah, aren't yes. you? It's a very smooth ride, Richard. Very smooth ride. Yes, yes. Very comfortable. This is actually in the B setting. We've got a comfort setting as well. That'll make it even oh, more comfortable. Oh, we got a comfort setting. Yeah, so Bentley is, is nice. the setting, the preset setting that they think that I, you'll like most. But I, comfort, uh, air suspension, beautiful. I'm surprised I don't have someone walking in front with a red flag. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's funny you should say that. Yeah. Uh, you, watching yourself in the Euros video. Yes. We, I had to show you how, because I called you up and said, have you seen the comments? And you've gone, where are the comments? Right, and that's so I had to come over to your house and I had to set it up for you, right, and show you how you get to the comments. But then, watching you watch yourself in the video, and in the video, you would say something, and then you, sitting at the dinner table, would say something back to the Terry in the video. What? I was commenting. Yeah, but you were, no, but you, <laughs> you were like, I'm see, never... but you were going, yeah, that's what I reckon. And like, that, but that, mum, that was you. That's that true. was you. So, you know how this is, we're talking about the engine. Yes. Four litre, twin turbo, V8. We, um, same engine, which is in the, the Lamborghini yeah. Urus. Um, so, it's the same engine. So It's the same engine, oh. but the, the Lamborghini makes more power. Um, wow, this makes 404 kilowatts and 770 newton meters. How does that work? Zero to 104.4.5. The Lambo, 478 kilowatts and 850 newton meters. So it's zero to 103.6. No, because they can tune it. It's all computers. Oh, right, okay, press a button. Tune it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Oh. Oh. How's, what how's them apples? I've always liked whippets. What's the, what's the, what, what do you love most about them? They're whippetry. <laughs> They're whippetry. They're whippets. Why are they so skinny? Okay. If you fed a whippet, whippet, if you fed a whippet lots, would it get fat all over? Or would it always no, be skinny? No, it would always be skinny. They don't look at it that much. They're good, they look, oh, I think they're top dogs. I love them. I think they're weird. I reckon they look like skeletons. I like whippets and ferrets. Ferrets? Yes. You should see a ferret. When it's asleep, you can't wake it up. You can hold it, put it up like that, swing it around, put it around your shoulder. The ferret doesn't have to wake up. On a street like this, like, I can't see, like, I, can't, I just cannot see, can't see how wide it is. It's very, very difficult. You know what? I have just remembered, Bentley have got a solution to this, Mum. We've got it all organised. Stay here. Don't go away. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I can't believe I'd forgotten. But Bentley's got a Bentley has it has it covered. Okay, so they come up with this has Bentley on it. Of course. Right. So what they embroidered. do embroidered, yeah, embroidered, embroidered. So what they do is they I think. I think they must have been aware that yeah. you couldn't see over the bonnet properly or you couldn't see where the edge of the bonnet are. And it was too late, they'd already made a hundred. So they, yeah, exactly. So they gave, <laughs> they've gave they given us these. Oh, yes. <laughs> so these just go, these just go on the bonnet. And that's right. all that's in there. There's nothing else on, in there. Like that's just, just those, just those. So I'm just gonna just hang out here for a but sec. But what about the Arabs? Do the Arabs have? Stop talking about the Arabs, mum. Look at that! Jacks. I can absolutely now see where the corners yeah, of the car are. Yeah, I can right. totally see. That's changed everything. You ready? Yes. So, do you reckon having flags on your bonnet is illegal? No. Like, are we impersonating? Yeah. Um, the queen. The queen. Well, it's like people have. It's like impersonating a, like a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what though, what? it makes a hell of a lot of difference. Like I can see exactly where the edges of my car are now. Well, there you go. Look at that. 
do you want to do the social call out? Remember you did it last time for the Lamborghini Urus. Was it like, like us on Facebook? No. That, no, that's not the way. Not like us on Facebook. So, uh, <laughs> you could say, remember. if you want to read the full review. If you'd like to read the full review. Go to carsguide. Go to carsguide.com. Dot au. Dot au. Yep. And? And if you like us, just touch that little like button. That's it. And then say how much you like me. Don't worry about him. Me. And subscribe. And subscribe. Yeah. Because if if people subscribe, then they don't have to look back, check back. They'll just get it coming up. All the cars guide are under you. All of cars guide. All of cars guide. Yeah. So when, um, when the Bentayga came out, was first launched in 2000. What's its name? Bentayga. So it's it's so it comes from Bentley, Bent, and Tayga is of a huge ice forest, a transcontinental right ice up. forest. So you know your i30. Yes. It comes with lane keeping assistance yes. and AUV yes. and all of that advanced yes. technology, right? Safety tech. Yes. You have to pay about sixteen thousand dollars to have it on if this. you want. If you want that type of technology, lane keeping assistance, rear cross traffic alert. Have you ever used a Montblanc pen? No. I have. I don't, you have? I have. Is it a good experience? It's a very good experience. It feels so nice in your hand. Yeah, like I, the Beluga? When we go home, I'll let you use one. Oh my god. So, look, back you to, want to, back know to why the I've Scott. Got one. I found it. What do you mean? They're worth thousands. I know, I found it. Oh, Mum. Didn't you hand, why didn't you hand it in? Well, where I found it, there was nowhere to hand it in. Do you realise? And I found it in a park. Yeah, you still should hand it in. It was a park. Oh my God. And there was nowhere around. Where how can you use it? How can you run with it? How can you hand it in in a park? All right, scores. Okay. So for design, what would you give it out of 10? Inside or out? It's everything. everything. It's in and right. out. Six. Okay. It doesn't look very nice on the outside, no. and this, the, even though the interior is, the leather seats are beautiful, and it's the boring. beluga, and the, the blowhole, and it's all of boring. that. It's boring. I'm going to give it a seven for design. See? I just, I just don't think. I think there are. I think the Lamborghini. I we gave that really high marks. But it was, it was very nice. Come on, this is boring. Price and features. Now, so. This price is three thirty-four, about three hundred thirty-four thousand. It's got about a hundred grand worth of um, options. The total price comes to like four hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars, right? It's a lot of money, and I just think in terms of price and features, like think about the Urus, what you got in that, even though it was very expensive as well. I just think even at this end, the the features you're getting standard aren't great. Look, you know what I, mean? it's, it's, I said it's a very boring sort of car. Do you know what I mean? It's. it's what are you, what, it's what are you going to give it? Uh, out of 10. Out of 10. Price. Price and features. Price and features. Five. Oh, Mum. Five. I'm going to give it a six. Well, see, we're close. We are close. Engine and transmission. Brilliant. Uh, brilliant. Look, great, yep. great engine. Yep. Great engine from Audi. <laughs> um. I, I, to no. me, it's a nine. It's e easy it's, a and nine. And I, it's, I gave that the same score for the Urus. It's the same engine. You, even though it's the a, Urus made yeah. more power, like it's, Look, it's a nine. It's a nine because you know it's top of the line, la la la, all of that. You know. Yeah. Driving. I. What do you? What are your thoughts? Well, you, you said. It's all right, mum. You said. Oh, we've got, got Jesus big, handle. We've right. got big brakes. Yeah. Um. I, I think driving, it's, you're, you're saying it's very comfortable, and it's a very comfortable drive. It's great to drive. It's very like, I've got to be, like, apart from the visibility. visibility. You know, and that's a problem. Being able to see does, does how wide you are. But then again. Does visibility come into driving? Yeah, it does. For me, like, yeah. if the cars, because it's not it's not that easy to drive because of the visibility yeah. and, the, and the way the bonnet is shaped. You, do, you would get used to it, and Audi, I mean, sorry, Bentley have provided the. The flags. You know, the flags, which solve the problem. Solve the problem. Um, 
but I, I'm not going to let that get in the way of what is really good. Like the ride, the handling, the air suspension. It's what well, you push this hard on a country road around corners, and it just look. It's I, incredible. Mum. I think this car, it's it's completely different to the Lamborghini. It's a whole different thing. This, I would say, people would be driving to Barrel, Midigong, that sort of thing. Um, if they're having a four-wheel drive, they've got a, a country weekender. Um, they've got the horses on the back. They're competing at the polo. Um, this sort of thing, they need a car that's comfortable. And this is comfortable, I have to say okay, that. So what do you give it for driving? Oh, I give it a what, nine. You give it a nine? Yeah. I think it's totally, totally spot. Are you kidding me that they've got a little special bag here that's embroidered Bentley that's got a couple of Union Jacks on it, you know? No, really? I actually bought the flags myself. Oh, good. Thank you. I didn't. It doesn't come with. It doesn't come with Union Jacks. Because no. I was thinking, you know, sort of, oh, it's going to Saudi Arabia. Get out of Saudi Arabia. No, flags. it doesn't have. Look, seriously. <laughs> I thought you. I thought the gag was like obvious enough. Richard, I'm not surprised at anything in these cars. Anything at I all. Thought it, I thought. I just can't believe you. Believe no, me. You. Did. Practicality. Yes, practicality. That boot is small, like it's big. It's 494 litres. It's big. When you think about it, it's a big bulky car, so it should have a it bigger boot. It should have a bigger boot. Yeah. I, and like legroom is good, but it's not great. It's not great. And Richard, how many people fit in this car? Five. You five. can get a seven seat, you can get a four seat, yeah. a five seat, and a seven seat. I was asked that about the um, Lamborghini. Were you yeah, you can get different seating me? configurations there. So for practicality... The lady I was selling one to. Yeah. Um, what? The, the lady I was suggesting that her family, her family would like one, um, asked me if you could get it with yep. more seats. And I said I wasn't sure she should ask Yeah, you can get seven. You can get this in a seven seat too, but of course... You've got, you, you got, you got to pay for it, and you do lose boot space. Well, yes, but you know, sort of. I'm not. I'm not 100 happy with its practicality. Well, I'm going to give it. I'm giving it a seven, out of ten. What about you? Slow. Out of ten. Out of ten. Out of ten. Oh, eight. Eight. Yeah. All right. I give it a seven. A pretty high seven, but still, safety. Oh, out of 10. Nine. Now remember, you have to option oh. stuff which is standard on like your car, your i30. Yes, but still, we're saying whether this car is safe, yes or no. No, but you've got it like you've got to look at it overall, like in terms of not just structurally safe, but does it come with advanced safety equipment? Does it come and, and it should be standard? And oh, especially on. on a car okay, that's already three hundred and thirty thousand dollars, it should be standard. Your car was what thirty? Yeah, I think. Out of ten, safety. <coughs> safety, I'd say eight. Giving it a seven. Six. Ownership, three-year unlimited kilometre warranty. Everyone's going to five years now. What about? What do you mean? What did you add it? Warranty. <laughs> We're scoring it, Mum. So. Yeah, it's got a three-year unlimited kilometre, which is just not good enough. Like you've got to these days, everybody's moving to five well, years, some that. moving to seven years. It's, a, it's and it's, as you said, it's a Bentley. Well, as you said with Lamborghini, people care about that, even at that price point. Yeah, they care about it. And and you know what? It's a Bentley. For the sake. Well, Do you want to go the fast? Story, no. There used to be the story about the. Um, the roller, you know, if your roller broke down, they'd send someone out from England to um, help with those flags. Um, they'd send someone out from England to fix it. So ownership, I'm giving it a six, same score that the, the Eurus got. Um, fuel. Now, fuel has been like this. This thing likes petrol. Well, you know, I don't feel the same about it when I feel about the Lamborghini. and Because in the Lamborghini, you just feel like it's a Lamborghini. Who cares about the fuel? It's sexy, right? Yeah. Now, this is not sexy, so I do care about the fuel. You know what I mean? So, and this car is a very nice car, but it's a bit boring. So let me just tell you, for fuel, while we're here at the traffic lights, 22.2 yep. litres per hundred. 
Right, now that is just been today, driving around suburbia. You'd probably get better economy driving the barrel. Yeah, look, the combined... The oh, combined, but then again, look, think about it. it. With the tow bar with the horses on the back, oh my God. Yeah, can you imagine? Imagine. You oh. better own an oil field. I think I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 7 yeah, out of 10. I think so, too. So, my final score. Yes. Out of 10, what's yours? What would you give it? 7. Really? Yeah. Because I've done the maths... My numbers add up to 7.3. High five. Oh, perfect. Now, here we are. We are to lunch. Going to are lunch. Are we going to go drive through? Now, you can have whatever you like, Mum. This is where these flags come in handy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, yours. So, 7 and 7.3. That's the final score. Oh my god, do you know how long it's been since I've had a quarter pounder? Thank you. About 24 hours. Always. Oh, you really? Uh-huh. Um, alright, let's take you home. Yeah.